How are you all? My name is Shelby and I'd love to show you some of my favorite spots in Austria. It's a landlocked country in South Central Europe in the Eastern Alps. One of the most beautiful countries I've seen is Austria. Mountain ranges and lakes there are some of the most beautiful you'll ever see. More than 40 million guests visit the country every year to be amazed by its beautiful castles, buildings, and views. So here are my top 10 Austrian places. Starting with this beautiful Lake Achensee. This beautiful emerald green lake is also called the Traulian Sea and the Fjord of the Alps. Located in the Carwendel mountain range is to the west of the Aachen Valley and the Brandenburg Alps are to the east. The lake is over 6.7 square kilometers big and has a maximum depth of 133 meters, which is why it is called the Sea of Traul. People who don't mind cold water like to swim in this lake because the water is so clear and great for scuba diving. Tight surfers and windsurfers will also have great conditions thanks to thermal breezes. You can easily rent boats for a relaxing day on the water. The Achen Valley is a great place for nature lovers to visit because it has high alpine fields and lots of exciting things to do. In the summer, you can hike, ride horses, and ride mountain bikes. In the winter, you can ski a lot. Number 9 is a small charming town of Kofstein. It is on the banks of the Inn River in the state of Troll. Located on the banks of the Inn River and people call the town the Pearl of Troll. It's a well-known place for winter sports and summer fun. This town has a lot to offer tourists, from the Kofstein Castle to the biggest outdoor organ in the world, Hex, the Wild Park Wildbickel, Kofsteinland, Langsee, and historical museums. Next place is a hilly state in the western part of the country, the Vorarlberg, located between the Alps and Lake Constance. The amazing place has beautiful lakes, rivers that splash, rocky hills, forests, and huge castles. It shares borders with Germany, Liechtenstein, and Switzerland, and is famous for its ski areas and beautiful mountain scenery. Bregenz is the main city and is on Lake Constance. The Vorarlberg Museum tells about the past and culture of the state while the modern Kunsthaus in the city shows new art. There is a cable car that goes up Mount Fander. Some of the best things to see are the Bergen's Fair, the Rappenlachschlacht, the Fander Bahn, Karen, Dornburn, the Muttersburg cable car, and the Wellpark Fellkirch. Here, you can always find something new to do. Next is the capital city, Graz, the second biggest city in Austria, located on the Mur River and has been a popular tourist spot for a long time. With six universities and more than 44,000 students, it is known as a city of students. This city will charm you with its history and beautiful architecture. Many of the buildings that are still standing, like Schloss Eggenberg, were influenced by Italian architecture styles. It also has one of the best preserved old towns in Central Europe. Its old town is on the UNESCO list, and the hills and woods that surround it make it look beautiful. Another big draw is the Schlossberg, a huge hill that rises behind the cute town. There are many museums in the city, ranging from art museums to military museums. There is also a small museum that honors the life and work of Hollywood star Arnold Schwarzenegger. Greitz offers a wide range of foreign foods, living up to its name as a city of culinary delights. After going to a summer farmer's market, cooks might want to bring home a bottle of pumpkin seed oil, which is made in the area. Next, we are going to the Zillertal Alps, which are truly stunning. Located right next to the border between Italy and Austria, the world-famous Hintertux Glacier, tree-lined slopes, and snow-capped hills make this one of the most beautiful places in Austria to ski and hike all year. It takes over four hours to drive here from Salzburg, making it the farthest place in the video. The trail goes up to a peak that is more than 11,000 feet high. On the way there though, there's a bridge with a stunning view of the lake below. Everyone on social media loves this bridge. There is also a cute little mountain hut further up the road where you can get food and enjoy the view on the way down. The lake has a really cool dam and the area is just really beautiful with great views. Lots of people say that the Grosslochner Alpine is Austria's most beautiful car trip in the world. It's an exciting adventure that hikers and daring drivers shouldn't miss. It winds through beautiful mountain sceneries, valleys, and leads to Austria's highest peak. The route goes through the Hochter Pass, which is 2,500 meters high and is named after the country's tallest mountain. The Grossglockner High Alpine Road has many stunning views as it winds through beautiful land along steep mountainsides. Just make sure the road is open, usually, it's open from the start of May to the end of October. 
It is a real pleasure to drive along it. Next is a small mountain town from the Middle Ages, located in the western province of Tyrol. It's a winter sports fan's dream, Kitzbühel. In its medieval heart, the streets are lined with high-end shops and bars. With works by local artist Alphonse Wald, the museum Kitzbühel tells the story of the town and the winter sports that are popular in the area. Its rooftop patio has a wide view of the town. With its old buildings and cozy restaurants, the old town of Innenstadt adds to the charm of this alpine location. It is one of the most famous and exclusive ski areas in the world, and more than 1.5 million people visit every year. The area is also known for hosting the Hanenkam races, which are the hardest and second oldest alpine skiing competitions in the world. In the summer, hikers love to climb it. An amazing view of the area can be seen from its height of 1,998 meters. Along the Danube River is the peaceful and beautiful Wakahel Valley, known for its wines and foods, like apricots. It is full of small ancient towns and hidden gems that haven't been found yet. During the Renaissance, this was a famous place for monasteries. There were more than 30 of them at one point because it was quiet and had beautiful scenery. This area was chosen by wealthy and royal families as a summer getaway for the same reasons. Well, the Schloss Schallberg is a beautiful castle with a Gothic church and beautiful grounds. It is only five kilometers from Melk. The town of Dunstein is famous for being the place where Duke Leopold V jailed Richard the Lionhearted for several years in the late 1200s. The town of Melk is famous for its beautiful Benedictine church. It will be hard for tourists to choose between the more than 500 ancient sites in the valley. Beautiful views can be seen from the top of the cliff above the river where the ruins of the ancient Egenstein castle stand. Second is the capital of Troll, Innsbruck, a city surrounded by tall mountains. With a name that means bridge over the inn, Innsbruck is a popular tourist spot all year round. There are a lot of great ski areas and beautiful views from the Norket mountain range, but this city has more to offer than great skiing. There are also beautiful colored houses and one-of-a-kind buildings in the town. Hofkirch is a great place to visit in town. It is a Gothic church that was built in 1553 and is where Emperor Maximilian's tomb is located. The huge black marble coffin with the bronze statue of the ruler is the most impressive thing in the court church. And the Bell Museum celebrates 400 years of bell making. Also visit historic sites like the Baroque St. Jacob Cathedral, or take a cable car ride to the top of Norkent Mountain for stunning views. Coming at number one is the city of music Salzburg. It's the fourth biggest city in Northwest Austria and one of the most beautiful towns in Europe. On the South Salzach River, it's beautiful mountain setting and well-preserved old buildings. The lovely old town area is a must-see. The town is small and the ancient streets and gardens with arches are very interesting. It has been known as the spiritual heart of Christianity in Europe since the beginning. The Altstadt district is an old town that was started by St. Rupert in 690 AD. It has many museums and beautiful scenery. The town's churches, temples, and homes were designed and built by the best architects and artists of their time, so you can get an idea of what they liked. The most famous building in the town is St. Peter's Abbey, which was built as an abbey in 696 and is one of the oldest in the German-speaking area. It's known in the music world because it is where Wolf Gang Amadeus Mozart was born. Music has a long history in the city, as shown by the museum in his family's home, the many events that show his work, and even the tunes that play on the city's famous glockenspiel every day. Tourists especially enjoy going to places that were used to film the sound of music. Now to get there, I suggest taking a plane to either Vienna or Salzburg. Salzburg is better because it is closer to the Alps. Talking about Vienna, you would be wondering where's Vienna, well and deserve its own full video, watch out for my next video. Now finishing my tour of Austria's 10 best places to visit. Plan your trip now and get ready to make experiences that will last a lifetime in this beautiful part of Europe. Until then, have a great trip.